course objective, syllabus and outcome of the course. In this video, we will start unit number first which is differential calculus. So the first topic is Rolls theorem and mean value theorem. See the statement of Rolls theorem. f of x is defined on closed interval a b. Function which is defined on closed interval a b. So tell that function, this function f of x satisfies this three conditions. First condition is f of x is continuous in closed interval a b. Second one f of x is differentiable in open interval a b. Third condition is f of a is equal to f of b. That is the value of the function f of x at the point x is equal to a is equal to the value of the function f of x at the point x is equal to b. Both are equal. Then both seven states that there exists at least one real number C which belongs to the open interval B such as that we get f dash of value of the function f dash of C is equal to 0. So, see a graphical representation of goals there. Here, two point L x is equal to a, x is equal to b. The value of the function f of x at x is equal to a is 1. The value of the function f of x at x is equal to b is this one. So both are equal value. And the graph of the function f of x which is a continuous. So here we get one such a point c which belongs to the open interval a b such a that value of f dash of c is equal to 0. That is f dash of c is equal to 0 means at that point we get tangent parallel to x axis. So for condition of Rolle's theorem which is a function is continuous on closed interval a b. What is meant by continuous function? C R. The definition of continuous function. A function f of x is said to be continuous at x is equal to a if these two conditions are satisfied by the function. Then and then we say that the function is continuous. What is the first condition? f of a exists. f of a means what? The value of the function f of x at the point x is equal to a exists exists in what finite get a finite value second condition limit at limit extends to a plus of f of x is equal to limit extends to a minus of f of x is equal to f of x these three terms are equal so then we say that the function f of x is continuous See this term, limit extends to a plus of f of x, which is nothing but the right hand side. This one, limit extends to a minus of f of x, which is nothing but the left hand side. Side. And it uses f of x, f of x means the value of the function at point x is equal to a. In another way, if the graph is continuous then we say that the function f of x is a continuous. Next, the second condition of the Rolle's theorem is function is a differentiable on open interval a b. So we say we see here how to check differentiability. So function c let y is equal to f of x be any function a function f of x is said to be differentiable at point x is equal to a if limit x tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x upon h is axis. That is this limiting value we get a finite value. 
the value is finite, then we said that the function f of x is differentiable at x is equal to a. We denoted derivative pi using notation d by by dx. So in this way, we we'll check continuity of the function and the differentiability of the function. Here some points are mentioned that are very useful to solve the example on rows theorem. Right? So, so the first point which is each constant function. You know that constant function f of x, we define the function f of x is equal to c for all values of x. Whatever the value of x, we get function value is c. Such a type of function is said to be a constant function. So, here the first part is constant function is always a continuous and differentiable everywhere. Right? So, the whenever we have to give a constant function, so we directly say that. The function is continuous and differentiable at that interval. So, next one, a polynomial function. Polynomial function, that is a function f of x is equal to a0 x raised to n plus a1 x raised to n minus 1 plus a2 x raised to n minus 2 plus up to so on a n minus 1 into x plus a n where a 0 not equal to 0 so this is a polynomial function a polynomial function is continuous and differentiable everywhere right next one third the exponential function sin and cosine function are also continuous and differentiable everywhere. Exponential function that is a function which is of the type e raised to x or a raised to x. Such a type of function is said to be an exponential function. And you know that sine and cosine both are the trigonometric function. So the trigonometric function sine, particularly sine and cosine, are continuous and differentiable everywhere. Next, fourth one, logarithmic function, which is also continuous and differentiable in its domain. Right? Next, five, tan x is not continuous. But tan x is not continuous and x is equal to plus minus pi by 2 plus minus 3 pi by 2 plus minus pi by 2 pi, pi by 2 and so on. That particular value of x function is not continuous. Expecting this point function is continuous. Right? So next six mod x is not a differentiable and x is equal to 0. 7. If f dash of x ends to plus minus infinity, then f dash of x is not differentiable. Right? That is the derivative value at a particular point is always be a finite value. If the value is infinite, then function is not differentiable at that point. Next. A differentiable function is a always a continuous function. Any function which is a differentiable, directly said that the such a function is a continuous function. Right? But the converse is not true. That is, every continuous function is not always be a differentiable function. For example, mod x. Right? So, We have the remark, first remark is there may exist more than one real number C belongs to the open interval AB at which f dash of x vanishes. So the first remark is said that 
we get more than one point. At which the tangent is parallel to the x-axis, right? So, if you see the statement of Rho's theorem, this what is what are the condition? First condition is function is continuous on closed interval AB. Function is differentiable on open interval AB. And third condition is f of a is equal to f of b. These three conditions are satisfied. Then we said that by using the Rho's theorem, we get at least at least there is what at least at least mean commit commit at least one point C which belongs to the open interval A such as that at rate of C is equal to 0 that is at the point C we get a tangent parallel to the x-axis and remark what is said that there may be there may exist more than one real number at which we get tangent parallel to the x-axis that is the derivative is equal to 0. So here graph is drawn x-axis, y-axis, a which is an interval and which the function is defined a and b. This one is a graph of the function, right? Both the value at the same level, that is both value are equal f of a and f of b. Both value are equal. So here the graph here at that point tangent parallel to the x-axis here also tangent parallel to the x-axis here tangent parallel to the x-axis that is at these three points we get derivative value of the derivative is equal to zero right so the first point this point is we call we say that c1 point c2 c3 so the c1 c2 c3 are such a point at which function at dash of x is equal to the 0 right? derivative at dash of x is a get matches next second remark theorem states that if the conditions are satisfied then at dash of c is equal to 0 by the rose theorem we say that the condition are these three conditions are satisfied, then the dash of c is equal to zero. But converse is not true. Converse is not true means what? If derivative of the function at a particular point c get vanishes, cannot say that function is continuous on closed interval AB, function is differentiable on open interval AB, but the value of the function is CL graph f of a here f of a here f of b both are at same level right so both are at same level f of a is equal to f of b f dash of c is equal to 0 but we are see that there is a hole graph is not a continuous graph is break at that point so the f of a is f of a is equal to f of b but function is not continuous next one f dash of c is equal to 0 but problem is what f of a is not equal to the f of so thank you next lecture we see examples on the rose theorem